There's a drug called phosphenetonin. It is an anti-seizure drug. It's the designer version of phenytonin or dilantin. We like this drug in pediatrics because it's far less irritating than phenytonin. Phenytonin has a pH of 11 and it precipitated with everything, but it was a great anti-seizure drug. Um, they've now made it so it has a more normalized pH and we can give it into peripheral IVs with IV fluid running and we don't have to worry about it precipitating. Phosphenetonin comes in two milliliter vials And they are 100 milligrams, sorry, in a vial. So if there's 100 milligrams in two milliliters, we know that one milliliter is 50 milligrams. But the med reference says, must be further diluted to maximum concentration of 25 milligrams per milliliter. Okay. So we have a patient who is 22 kilos. And they want to load this patient, um, bring up the serum level, and we're going to load this patient with 15 milligrams per kilo. So 22 times 15. The ordered dose that the physician is going to give us is 330 milligrams is our ordered dose. So we have this little vial here of phosphenetone and it's a 100 milligram vial. They also have 5 milliliter vials which have 250 milliliter, 250 milligrams. Because we're going to need more than one vial of the 100 or more than one vial of the 250. So the pharmacy will probably send you two 250 milligram vials. But it doesn't matter because this is in five and this is in two. The concentration is the same. These are all 50 milligrams per milliliter. So our dose ordered is 330. Dose on hand, we have 50 milligrams in one milliliter. So we need to draw up six point six milliliters of phosphenetone will be 330 milligrams. But we look and we see this is 50 milligrams per milliliter and it's drug that says it has to be no more than 25 milligrams per milliliter. So then I go my dose ordered, my dose ordered is 330, let's do that up here, 330 milligrams is my dose ordered. My maximum allowed concentration is 25 milligrams per milliliter. So I figure 330 divided by 25. I have to have a minimum volume of 13.2 milliliters. I have 6.6 .6 milliliters. This is way too concentrated. So I need to take that six. Can you see me from here? And am I too low? Is that too low? I need to draw up my med, 6.6 .6 milliliters here of med, 
And then I need to add some normal saline or sterile water. I need to pull that up into this syringe so that I'm at minimum of 13.2 milliliters. I could pull it up to 15. I could pull it up to 20. I just need to be equal to or greater than 13.2 milliliters so that I have further diluted this irritating, concentrated, hyperosmolar medication so it's not going to damage our kids' tissues. Um, we're going to practice this in our simulation class, but this is something we don't do very often in adults. So I really want 